Good morning, friends. Who? Internet friends, right? Um, so I'm finally practicing with my um, tripod. And I thought I'd let you guys in on my day. So um, let's see. Last night, we got one of our first real monsoon rains here in Arizona, in, in Apache County, Arizona. Um, it was a good rain. We dumped a lot of water. The trees are going to be so happy. Uh, if we get a few more of these, which are predicted, a few more of this are predicted for this week, um, the fire ban should totally be different. <laughs> Fire bands should be lifted or something. Um, but because of all the rain, um, I've got some cleanup to do this morning. Not horrible, but like my patio needs to be swept off. Um, and uh, it is Wednesday. Normally there they've they've changed um, our farmers market in this area. It's called the Witchwell Farmer's Market. They have changed that um, and now include a Wednesday as well as a Saturday Farmer's Market. And because of that and because of my um, routine and ritual of keeping Sabbath um, more similar to the way I did when I was growing up, I had been raised in WWCG. If you know what that is, you'll understand. If you don't, don't worry about it. Um, anyways, um, I won't sell on Sabbath. So I use um, Saturday as a day of rest and of difference. So I change my everyday things and have kind of a Sabbath routine thing that I do. Sometimes it does include going down to the farmer's market just to be social because I don't have you know, I don't have a social outlet and there's no church involved in my belief system. So that being said, um, I had totally intended to go to the farmer's market this today on Wednesday. I had a few things that I thought I would um, see about selling or depending on the situation, giving away, whatever, but some things that I no longer needed. And it's a farmer's market and swap me. So, you know, you can, it can be all kinds of things. And um, so I totally intended to go and to do that. I also have been working on repainting one of the signs for the farmer's market. And it got wet last night, so it, it's not ready. I'm going to have to do some touch-up to it. Um, and because I wasn't completely finished with it as well. So I decided, uh, we, we had enough rain that um, I had a one gallon bucket underneath of my, the drain on my outdoor sink. And I had emptied it before I went in the house last night. House, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Anyways, um, and it's a one gallon metal bucket. It was full to the brim this morning. So we, we really got dumped on with a lot of water. Um, I didn't have any driveway puddles right here near the, the studio, uh, but the possibility of the road being impossible, uh, impassable, uh, was pretty great, uh, because we haven't had that much rain in a while and it takes time, uh, because there's sand and clay in this area. Often the water will puddle and then it takes time for it to soak in. And so um, I decided, <laughs> since there were no puddles in the driveway, I decided to go play with the four wheel drive of my car because I haven't used it much. And so I put the car in four wheel drive and I went for a ride. And incredibly, I did slide around in some mud puddles, but incredibly, I made it all the way, uh, this, uh, there's seven miles of dirt roads to my property. And um, I was able to make it all the way to the pavement. So um, it's a combination of things. The fact that I did get a four-wheel drive and that I was careful using it 
um, the fact and the fact that the um, county has really worked on the roads out here. And so there's two county maintained roads, which is one is four miles, four or five, six miles of my drive from my property are on county maintained roads. And they have done such an excellent job out here that both of those roads are more passable. Now, one of them, one of them, until they do some more major work, if we get more rain this week, yeah, I won't go out because once more traffic starts being on it with the wet, there'll start to be ruts and mud. And so until the county does quite a bit more work to that, um, it it's not as passable as it could be. Um, one of the other roads connects 191 with the little um, I-40 exit of Navajo. Um, it connects the two areas and uh, crosses a railroad track. And that road, they have done such an excellent job on that it is passable, the section that I, that I uh, was on this morning. But so I played with my four-wheel drive this morning. And um, then, I don't know, I have some other things I'll do today, but um, the trees look happy. There were some extra bugs this morning. I don't, it was a little swarm of some flying thing. I couldn't really see what they were to know what was going on with those, but little swarm of them when I first came out earlier. Um, but all the plants uh, that are around, all the trees just look a little bit happier. And we're so glad to get get the rain. Um, I I have to say, as far as playing and practicing with the tripod, um, this tripod's low. It, it's like a really compact um, gizmo, and it also doubles as a selfie stick. And um, so I'll play with it some more. The wind could blow it over, but there's no wind right now in the morning. And sometimes if we're going to get winds, it's most of the time it's in the afternoon, unless there's some, some weather event going on in this area. But um, um, I'm able to be outside right now so you guys can see some things around me. And my new um, pergola shade cover over the uh, back patio. That got finished this week, finally. Um, I would kind of like... <laughs> sidebars, right? Um, I would kind of like to add another slat in between the ones that are there. I don't know how soon I would do that. It's not a, not a have to do. But I chose to put a rather wide weave um, shade cloth on this. Be in between the slats and the... I guess rafters. Um, and I did that because of the winds and the amount of rain sometimes and snow uh, because it's sandwiched in between the wood. I wanted to make sure that it wouldn't like tear the thing off if the wind was real strong or something. And so it does provide shade and it and it cools this back side of the studio wonderfully, and this back side had been getting awfully hot. So um, I do think it's going to be wonderful, but I would like to add some more slats. Uh, my budget really can't handle that right now. Of course, wood's expensive in this. <laughs> wood's expensive right now. Um, and they're just fur in strips, but they're 12 feet long. And so I had to special order to get 12 foot long um, uh, fur in strips. And um, so if that waits another year or so, I don't know. It, it, it would be another, I'd have to figure out math. And I, feel, I always feel slow at math, but I think it's another... Oh, I think I said I'd need, what, 10? Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, eleven. Okay, eleven. And there, uh, it, it would be another seventy dollars. And I don't have that in my budget right now. So there's, it's so much of an improvement that I can wait on. Um, a seventy dollar thing can happen another time. Um, what else could I tell you about this morning? While I'm practicing with the with the uh, tripod and sitting here, hopefully enough in the sun so you can see my face. Um, I stopped drinking coffee. Um, I have off and on. I, I don't have an addiction to coffee. I'm not like a lot of people. I, I have loved it, but I don't, I can just stop. It doesn't, you know, I don't go through a big problem when I stop. Um, but what I'm drinking right now is um, hot water with a teaspoon of honey. And I do this every morning uh, for the last few weeks, maybe three weeks, something like that. Um, I, I take turmeric and then this other herb that's called neem um, in the morning and I chase it with, because they don't taste really great yet. Maybe I'll change my taste buds and it will be a lovely flavor. But um, chase it with the warm water with um, honey. And um, it, it helps it go down, sort of like, you know, a little bit of something makes makes the medicine go down, medicine go down. Um, and so I'm finishing that cup from this morning. Um, let's see. Um, I probably will. Oh, because it rained and I'm not going to be able to leave. Not that I need to right now. But um, I also have finished up a number of projects to the point where I was going to maybe spend an hour or two this afternoon um, and over the next few days. Um, I need to reapply for an Amazon affiliate. Um, I had one, but they changed some policy a couple of years ago and I didn't know that they had um, deleted my account, so I have to reapply. I'm going to apply for a visible affiliate because I'm thinking about switching over to a visible phone, uh, phone internet situation. What else was I planning to do? And, and basically just look at these things and see if there's a way, I don't really know how yet, um, to get a community connected on my um, YouTube channel. Because I don't want to go back to all the social media stuff. It's just, it's too much for me. And I know y'all people who are out there, basically y'all love me. And, um, and I, I, I have stories and I have things I can share and tell you. And um, as if I can get some of these things uh, a little more hooked up. And uh, at some point, hold your breath. But at some point, I'm going to take this same tripod and do the little switcheroo to it and make it a selfie stick and walk around the property a little bit with you all so you can see what I've done. It has been work. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have been around construction my whole life, but this might have been one of the most challenging things I've been through. Um, some was me. A lot was me because um, I just, I couldn't understand why people were being the way they, it was personal interaction uh, relationship stuff. No, I'm not in a relationship with a specific person kind of thing, but we have relationships with all kind of people. And um, I just, I struggled so much to deal with some of the people who were trying to be, I think they were trying to be helpful. Um, but it didn't feel like it was helpful when they would say, you can't have that. You have to do this. And, uh, but let me just say, this has become a lovely space where I think I can actually come here and be completely myself 
and have the alone time I need, which is pretty, I need a lot of it, um, and to just sit with nature, in nature, do my meditation, get my diet back on track when I've gotten it off track. This is becoming a lovely place for me to recharge my batteries. And with the studio, I can more easily and more comfortably, without being too comfortable, um, weather the extreme weather that there is in this particular county of the United States. Apache County is, we have some weather here. Let me tell you. Monsoons, whew, I've been here when, when I've had hail in July and um, been so scared and like, I don't know if you, whether it's appropriate to call it flooding, but the water would just be so strong and running like little rivers all over the place. And just knowing that it was going to be days or a week before I could get out. And, and it has been that, you know, without four-wheel drive in the past, there have been times when I've had to just sit and wait for both the wind and the sun and the ground to be able to soak up the water that was dumped. And um, it's, I appreciate it. I'll be so happy when I can afford to put the gutters on the house, uh, the house, the studio, um, and let that water go into rain catchment barrels. Oh, that's going to be fabulous. Right now, I do have a large uh, water tank that I can have a delivery. I can have a truck come in and bring me water. But, um, oh, it's going to be wonderful when I can have the rain barrels, uh, rain catchment system. So um, I'm going to leave this here for now. Thank you all for visiting me.